break up with someone or something like that, even if you don't want them anymore, you don't really want anybody else to get them, right? You know what I'm saying? Okay, so, okay, you're right, John. Nothing harms her or hurts you. Okay. <laughs> John's invincible. Was that no language? Yes, John has no limits. <laughs> okay. Well, John, I think John Proctor is a tiny bit jealous. Okay. Just an easy bit. Okay. Can you handle that? Can you ask him to take that? One thing. Was that laugh okay? That laugh was good. Yes, okay. it was very good. Okay. That was good. Um, the only thing with that, though, is then, like, I need you to, like, snap into, uh, like, let us see you trans. The transition from like laughing crazy to like, what did you just call me? Like, don't be afraid to let that sink in before you attack, okay? Because your attack's great, but it Ooh. happened so quickly that we're like, what just happened, okay? John. Spring a written script to your witchery. How do you suffer? John, you say that, right? Say that more, you're saying it kind of, as, like you're asking, like, how was your day? You know, um, asking more, like, how do you suffer? You know what I mean? Okay? Yes, a little bit more. Because you're not being too mean. But then the pace needs to pick up right then. The pace increased a little bit later. Shh. But I want, like, the intensity to pick up right then, okay? After that. Like, you're defending yourself and you're talking about this. I want that to be the point when it happens. Um, nice, John, with all the good stuff, both of you guys. Like, good stuff? With nice. the who's good. <laughs> nice. Good. Very nice. Good good stuff. Stuff. Well, good remember stuff. to do that good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try this too, John. Try standing behind the log and have her like pleading to you on the log. You know what I'm saying? When, saying, she, saying when he like becomes leaning cold, on it, the log's not like leaning on the log. No, just stand behind the log to where she could be down, like almost pleading with you. You know, when you're saying what a good wife I'll make you. Okay, so just like stand back here. Okay, and even you could be turning and facing these poor people who are sitting here and are like, What's okay. going on? No, <laughs> oh, in that, we're getting very diagonal. I don't know if it's just where I'm sitting, but you guys kept going like back and forth right here. So I kept seeing like back backs. Front, front, back, back. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So don't be afraid to talk to each other like this more, okay? Because you're very dead on. You don't have to be. Okay? You have more freedom. Okay, you're very good at cheating. Stop it. Okay. All right. um. Oh, and emphasis, John. John, your emphasis is on murderous, not child. Because child obviously isn't a bad word. But it, so it's, it strikes her. It does strike her, but I think it sounds a little strange. Okay, I, I would rather okay. try it on murderous. Yes, okay. ma'am. Cool beans, guys. Let's run it again. <laughs> Here. I've been saying cool beans for two years. Oh, shit. Okay. Sure. I must speak with you, Abigail. Will you sit? How do you come? Friendly. I don't like the ones at night. Pray you sit closer. I knew it must be you. When I heard the pebbles on the window, before I opened up my eyes, I knew. I thought you would come a good time sooner. I thought to come many times. Why didn't you? So alone in the world now. Are you? I have heard that people ride a hundred miles to see your face these days. I am my face. Can you see my face? And you're troubled. Have you come to mock me? No. But I hear only that you go to the tavern every night and play shuffleboard with the deputy governor, and that they give you sight. I have once or twice played the shuffleboard, but I have no joy in it. This is a surprise, Ed. I thought to find you more gayer than this. Find you gayer than this. For the troop of boys go step for step with you every walk these days. Aye, they do. But I have only good looks from the boys. And you like that not? Not their good looks no more, John. My spirit's changed entirely. I have to be given God. godly looks when I suffer for them as I do. Oh, how do you suffer? Why, look at my leg. I'm holes all over from their damn needles and pins. The jack your wife gave me is not healed yet, you know. Oh, it isn't? 
I think sometimes she pricks it open again while I sleep. Ah. And George Jacobs, he comes again and again and wraps me with a stick, the same spot every night all this week. Look at the lump I have. Abby, George Jacobs has been in the jail all this month. Thank God he is. And bless the day he hangs and lets me sleep in peace again. Oh, John, the world's so full of hypocrites. They pray in jail. I'm told they all pray in jail. They may not pray. They can torture me in my bed while sacred words are coming from their mouths. Holy God himself to cleanse this town properly. Abby, you mean to cry out still others? If I live, if I'm not murdered, I surely will until the last hypocrite is dead. And there is no one good. Aye, there is one. You are good. Am I? How am I good? Well, you taught me goodness. Therefore you are good. We're a fire you walked me through, and all my ignorance were burned away. We're a fire, John. We lay in fire. And from that night, no woman dare call me wicked anymore. But I knew my answer. I used to weep for my sins when the wind lifted up my skirts, and blush for shame because the older Becca called me loose. And then you burned my ignorance away. Spare some December trees on the wall, walking like saints to church, running to feed the sick and hypocrites in their hearts. And God gave me strength to call them liars. And God made men to listen to me. And by God, I was scrubbed the world clean for the love of him. Oh, John, I'll make you such a wife when the world is white again. You will be amazed to see me every day, a light of heaven in your house. Of... Why are you cold? My wife goes to trial in the morning, Abigail. Your wife? Surely you knew of it. I do remember it now. How? Is she well? As much as she may be, 36 days in there, in that place. You said we became friendly. I come to tell you, Abby, what I will do tomorrow in the court. I will not take you by surprise, but give you all good time to think of what to do to save yourself. Save myself? If you do not free my wife tomorrow, I am set and bound to ruin you, Abby. How ruin me? I have rocky proof and documents that you knew that Papa were none of my knew that Papa were none of my wife's, and that you yourself bade Mary Warren stab the needle into it. I bade Mary Warren? You know what you do. You're not so mad. Oh, hypocrites. Have you won him too? John, why do you let them send you? I warn you, Abby. They send you. They steal your honesty. I have found my honesty. No. This is your wife pleading, your sniveling, envious wife. This is Rebecca's voice, Martha Corey's voice. You are no hypocrite. I will prove you for the fraud that you are. And if they ask you why Abigail would do so murderous a deed, what will you tell them? I will tell them why. What will you tell? You will confess fornication in the court? If you will have it so well. So I will tell it. I say I will. If you can still hear, hear this. Can you hear? You will tell the court you are blind to spirits. You cannot see them anymore and you will never cry witchery again. Or, or I'll make you famous for the harlot that you are. Never in this world. I know you, John. You are this moment seeing secret hallelujahs that your wife will hang. Oh, you mad murderous child. Oh, how hard it is when pretense falls. But it falls, it falls. You've done your duty by her. I hope it's your last hypocrisy. I pray you'll come with sweeter news for me. I know you will now that your duty's done. Good night, John. Fear not, I will save you tomorrow. From yourself, I will save you.